Welcome to We Love MMA's Southpaw vs. Orthodox Study. We will be looking at a few legends of boxing and MMA to figure out what works from the Southpaw vs. Orthodox lineup. Here are all the techniques we'll be mentioning today in part one. If you haven't already, smush that subscribe button and boop that little bell icon to get more videos like this from us in the future. First, we have to examine the initial position. On the left, we have an orthodox fighter, and on the right, a southpaw. We can see that one side is occupied by both leads. This creates a lot of traffic on that side and makes the otherwise common jab a little more tricky to land. The other side has both rear sides and is much more open, meaning both fighters are more likely to use their rear hands and, as we'll examine later on, their kicks. Because of the openness of this lineup, some call this an open stance. Others, including myself, call it unmatched leads. On the whole, both fighters will be attempting to get their foot outside of the opponent's foot because it is safer and allows for more attack options. Up first, the jab. Though it's a bit harder, the jab can land if the path is clear and the shoulder is aligned. At its most basic, we can say there's an inside and outside path. The trajectory is either inside the opponent's lead, where the jab would usually go in an orthodox versus orthodox situation, or outside their lead, crossing the arm. The foot position is a good hint as to what the path of the jab will be. Pernell Whitaker is well known for his use of a backstepping jab to strafe out of harm's way. Notice how the opponents simply turn in place afterward to adjust position. A great way to make space. And it's used all over the place. Here's Hagler, Crawford, and Laura stepping on Kamel's foot. They all step in and then step with the back foot first to the outside. All of them able to reset stance outside of the opponent's attack range. Backing up, Whitaker allows Chavez to take a big step forward, but takes the inside angle before the footfall. He then hits his back step and evades being cornered. Beauty. There's also the cross jab. In this case, we are countering the jab with our jab. Here, Rigondo already has the foot flank, so when his opponent enters, the punch is a tad bit short, but El Chacal whips out a stinger to counter. Crawford does something similar here, and notice that they both backstep to the outside. And with no arm to worry about, there's always the body to attack. Here's Vasquez and Crawford peppering the gut. Notice the foot position on that first jab though. His foot is on the outside, but he shoots inside. And the opponent doesn't even need to defend it for it to be off course. Since jabs are hindered and the opening of the guard is facing the rear hand, the rear straight is generally more feasible in unmatched leads. A few different setups. The classic lead two here. Vittori almost used it like a jab here to lull Adesanya. The two is surprisingly long. Giorgio Petrosian walking his man onto the two. Pacquiao using it here in kind of a dart form to get that outside foot position and work on an angle around the lead leg. Here Crawford sneaks the two past the guard of a dazed opponent to get a knockdown. One thing that is interesting is the tendency for a couple famous southpaws to reach with their two. Pacquiao reaching for it and landing it against the bigger, stronger Margarito. He's on one foot briefly. Same thing with McGregor here, as the opponents try to escape his left and he gives chase. The body two is a great option. Check out Loma getting two knockdowns with well-placed straights to the bread basket. Notice also how the opponent starts in the middle of the ropes. High tech goes for the body shots and they fold in the corner. McGregor's counter KO of Aldo is a beautiful example of a straight beating a hook. Aldo does a fake two of his own before committing to a lead hook and getting zapped. McGregor's ability to give ground and run people onto his straight is preposterous. Part of the reason for this is that the angle 
makes the head a larger target for the rear hand. For a string of straights in a row from a southpaw, I especially like Anderson Silva's use here against Forrest Griffin. First one lands, second one is parried, and he allows for the attack and the straight again for the knockdown. Great pull counter there. Next, we have the lead hook. Since it's close to the target and can circumnavigate the lead hand, it poses a potent threat to both men. A well-timed hook here, which lands inside. Here's Hagler using a more advancing gazelle punch. If one is playing more of the matador, the pivot hook or check hook might be their friend. The check hook from unmatched leads is especially nice since it puts us out on the flank. The lead body hook. This is one of those shots that I think might hurt more as the southpaw since the liver is on the right. Winky Wright and Felix Trinidad trade body blows. Wrights comes in with some heat. Here, Hagler combines his body shot with a gazelle hop before turning off into the center, kind of like a check hook. A couple of counters. Luke Rockhold made a name for himself as someone that could end a rush with a well-timed hook. Against Jardine, it ended the fight. This is more of a zone counter and closes the door on the exchange. Last but certainly not least, there's Manny Pacquiao's Manila Ice, a right hook counter over the jab. Here, Pac-Man hits it against Margarito, and here is a recent example of Gilbert Burns having his own orthodox take on the Manila Ice against Southpaw Demian Maya. Now, let's put it all together in a beautiful sequence from Bud Crawford. Straight to the body, lead hook, straight misses, and this is important, he steps through, so he's back in southpaw, and they're still in unmatched leads. Then, lunging jab, straight, and watch how he mixes the body head for this string of right hooks. Then, the ref comes in to sit on Molina. The first part of our southpaw study is a wrap. We will be putting out studies like this regularly, so if you have any requests, let us know. If you haven't already, body hook that subscribe button and jab that little bell icon. You can also find us on Instagram and TikTok at We Love MMA. And you can watch more than 700 fights at WeLoveMMA.com.